Okay, here we are in the backyard. Uh, doing a quick little roundup. Okay, there is myself wicking air pruning garden bed. Um, just have yet to plant anything into it, but soon to plant something into that. Here is the snow peach. Uh, lost all its leaves, it's now coming back again. Um, looking good from that point of view, nice and healthy. Here is my Valencia. Not looking so good, not looking so healthy. Um, getting a lot of what looks like, to my point of view, the yellowing in the leaf here, yellowing in this leaf, suggests that there's a bit too much fertilizer in the ground and it's slowly burning its way. Not a lot too much, but just enough too much. Um, and it's simply burning the, the tree. Um, there's one. There's one right here. One Valencia. That's it. Really shouldn't have let that one get past by her, but I stripped everything else. Um, here is the mulberry tree. Looking rather nice. And the mulberry tree. Um, it's got a nice lot of growth on it going through winter. Uh, being pruned quite heavily. But every time we've pruned this, it's come back again and again. As you can see, we could look in here. There we prune our way. I've got planted at the base of it a tomato. There you can see it there clearly. It's called Rouge de Marmande. Um, it's a French tomato. I've been growing it for a couple of years now. Yeah, I think it's quite a good tomato. And we'll just give the flowers a bit more of a tap, see if we can get some of the German to become fertile. And get a few more tomatoes on it. As yet, there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tomatoes. Yep, big crop. Coming over here to the nursery. Let's have a look in the nursery. There's another tomato growing up here. Been practicing um, cloning with that tomato. And the same with the other tomato down there. I've been using them as uh, ones that I can clone off. Because um, maybe later in the season I'll clone off some and then we'll run another batch. Um, I've got one little clone sitting in a little cup down here. Yep, that's uh, a clone of a clone now. That's a third generation clone. Um, clone that off the tomato, tree tomato that my mum gave me. And moving on, we've got the sunflower that my daughter brought home, and a basil that I re discovered when I pulled out my big basil tree. Uh, there was this little one growing there, so I've like potted him up, and that'll probably become another huge basil tree shortly. It's an Ita broadleaf um, Italian that I got off my father-in-law. Hidden in the back here, in all this water, we have an assortment of seedlings. Damn, they have powered on. Yeah, these seedlings came to me because I've been having so much trouble with germinating that I had to concede defeat before the growing season got away completely and then planted. So, we've got some there. Of all these, the zucchini look like they're the most mutant. You're going to do well. There's a neem tree. There's my fail at seedlings. Oh, that one little one has finally come up. Moving along, we have got the um, black turkey, no, brown turkey fig plum tree that my mum took a graft on and gave to me. Um, here is my tree tomato. I actually cloned off. That other one, little one I showed you, it came off here. Um, but now this is growing up again. Yep, we'll have another one. Looks like it's going to germinate up in here, but I'm actually waiting for it to flower. So far, none of the flowers have taken. Um, but, okay, looks like... Yep, so we've got the next set of flowers appearing up there. I'm growing this in... An air in a gar. Well, what's that? A um, prune. No, it's a shopping bag. Basically, air pruning for the roots. I've got it sitting in some water, so it's self-wicking. Um, and I've got it practicing with my tying up. 
and growing an upper, an indeterminate upper string. In front of it I have got cauliflower planted, next bed over I have broccoli planted, that one is currently being turned into mulch to keep feeding all the, the rubbish in. You can see the stem there of the old basil bush that I just pulled out. And there are my zucchini. Here is a basil that was actually, what you know, had come up as well. Um, and so I left it there when I pulled out the big basil bush that would have, was behind it where that other zucchini is now planted. And across further we've got the snow peak trellis. Um, two of them I seem to have taken off, two seem to be a bit slow. Um, oh, and what do we got coming up around them? Yeah, it looks like maybe this one might be a tomato. That one's possibly a tomato, but I don't like it on the leaf shape. Yeah, and that's a weed, so you're out. Yeah, so that's a tomato there. Yeah, I'm not growing any tomatoes in this bed this year. Now we're on to the lemon tree. There you go, lemon tree. Uh, of all my trees, this, is, this one has come along the best. It's been, it's been pruned back, had a nice bit of growth, and then it has gone into dormant for the winter. Um, you can see popped up over the top there is the Great Wall.